So by the end of this video, I am hopefully going to convince some of you that online arbitrage is a bit of a waste of time. All right, so with Amazon FBA, you've got a few different business models, right? You've got retail arbitrage where you literally just walk around shops, buying stuff that's on sale, and then you flip it or you resell it on Amazon. Then you've got wholesale where you actually build relationships with suppliers and you buy other brands products in bulk. Then you've got private label, which is what we do, where you create your own brands and your own products. And then you got online arbitrage, right? Where you're just buying and flipping products purely online. So each of these models, they have pros and cons. None of them are perfect. And honestly, you can make money doing any of them. But today I wanna to talk about specifically online arbitrage because despite it having some pros, I think there's some serious downsides to getting into it that I don't think most people really think about. So I'm not just gonna sit here and absolutely bash it and say it's a total complete waste of time, despite what the video title said. So please forgive me for that because that's not the case. It's not the case for everybody that it's a waste of time. But for some of you, I do genuinely think that it's a pretty big mistake getting into it. And if you give me a few minutes, I'm gonna explain. And I really think you're gonna benefit from what I say. And if you don't agree, just go to the comment section, call me a dude, or we can have a civil discussion about it. So first up, what are the pros of online arbitrage? So it's something that you can get into with a pretty low budget. If you've got $500 to invest, you can open an Amazon account and you can start flipping products pretty much straight away. You're not going to make much cash, but it's a great way of getting some cash flow. And if you've not got a huge budget, it's a nice way to start an online business. The next thing is that it's pretty simple to do. You're basically finding products online that are on sale. Then you work out how much profit margin you would make if you bought it from one site and then sold it on Amazon. It's not exactly rocket science, right? So yeah, this in theory is great. If you don't have much cash, you want to start a simple online business and start making some, then yeah, it's pretty good. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dive into a couple of key reasons why I think genuinely for a lot of you, it's not the best way to start your online business journey. And please don't just take this as me mindlessly bashing online arbitrage. Please try and take it as me giving you a genuine perspective on something that's pretty important, which is the next few years of you doing business. So when I first got into Amazon FBA, right, I was obsessed with making money. I'm now nearly five years in, and there's been one key thing that I've realized, that making money comes from having high value skills. So the higher the value of the skill that you develop, the more money that you're gonna make over time. So right now I'm recording this YouTube video, sat in my spare room, and it will probably get thousands of views. And from those views, we're gonna make money. We're gonna make money in ad revenue, but then also sales for our course and our community. That's a skill, right, that I've spent two, three, four years refining and practicing. But I know now, right, that I can apply that skill to basically any business model or any niche. If my Amazon businesses went to pot, if they went to zero, I could still earn a decent amount of cash with the knowledge that I've gained and the skills that I've got for making YouTube videos. I could definitely walk into a well-paid job. I could be a consultant for people looking to grow and monetize audiences. So even if I didn't make tons of money when I was initially making, you know, the first YouTube videos on this channel, it eventually develops into a skill that I'm now making good money from and that will continue to grow and compound and make me more and more money over time. Honestly, the upside of learning YouTube as a skill is absolutely massive. So there's people out there making YouTube videos, making tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars every single year. The sky is really the limit once you learn how to make content on YouTube. So learning how to flip products and sell them on Amazon is also a skill. You need to find them. You need to work out your profit margin, your ROI. Then you need to list them on Amazon and sell them and actually make a profit. It's definitely a skill, but it's a skill that has massive limited upside. There's really only so far that you can go flipping products. And to be honest, there's only a few people that scale it beyond a certain point. Now, before you say, all right, yeah, so what? Let me give you a quick scenario. So two people start Amazon FBA at the same time, right? You've got John and you've got Sarah. So John starts online arbitrage because he wants to make money quickly. Sarah is taking a bit of a longer term view and she's interested in starting her own brand and selling her own products. So John, admittedly, he starts making money a bit faster. So Sarah takes a few more months to do her research and get her first product to market. Over time, John keeps on improving his sourcing skills. He's flipping more and more products and his sales are growing. Whilst that's going on, Sarah's learning product development, TikTok marketing, Facebook ads, copywriting, supply chain management. So over time, right, John grows to $50,000 a month in revenue. Sarah, admittedly, she's a little bit slower. After 12 months, she's doing $35,000 a month, and John is actually ahead of her in terms of sales. But as the years pass, right, John hits a plateau. 
he can't really scale beyond where he is. You know, he's hired VAs, but now his profit margins are pretty small. Sarah launches more and more products, and she's actually gone on and raised some investment for her brand. She's launched a Shopify store, and she's continuing to grow. So a few years in, John's got a business doing $700,000 a year in revenue. He's doing pretty well. So Sarah's now got a portfolio of products that she sells on Amazon and also on Shopify. She's also doing around $700,000 a year in revenue, making around $200,000 in profit. And one day she gets an email. A private equity firm wants to buy her brand. So the private equity firm are offering her a three and a half X multiple on her annual profit. Plus they're gonna buy all of her stock. So in total, she's looking at an offer of around a million dollars for her brand. So obviously this is a made up example, but this shows you the massive difference between flipping products with OA and starting your own brand and selling your own products. Private label businesses are assets that you can sell. An online arbitrage business isn't a sellable asset. Within our community, right, we've got people like Ben, who sold his brand Beast Gear for seven figures. And Joe, who sold for just under six figures. Then we got Max Wright, who sold for multiple six figures in just a couple of years. Secure, chill, you know, calm. There's communities of online arbitrage sellers that have got tens of thousands of members. How many of them do you think have sold their businesses? Zero. So hopefully you see the point that I'm trying to make and hopefully you get that I'm not just trying to mindlessly bash away. Can you make money with online arbitrage? Yeah. But unless you've got a tiny, tiny budget, in my opinion, you're massively limiting your future potential earnings. You're limiting them by working on a business model where A, the skills are not really that valuable and they don't really compound. And then B, you're working on a business that can't be sold. So you might be working in your online arbitrage business for three years and then you just want to stop. And if that happens, right, your business just goes to zero. But when you own the products and you own the brand, you actually have the option to sell the business and walk away with a big chunk of change. And you might say, well, I'm just going to start online arbitrage and then I'm going to get into private label. But honestly, the reality of that plan is that you'll start online arbitrage and you'll get so engrossed in it and so wrapped up in it that you'll do it for years and you'll likely never venture into anything else. And in the same time, right, someone else started a private label brand at the same time as you. They've grown it and they've sold it. And they've also developed skills that are insanely valuable, which are going to lead to them making even more money in the long run. So in my opinion, like I said, it's just my opinion. If you've got more than three or $4,000 to invest, my advice is to not follow the opportunity that is the quickest, the quickest to make money, which is online arbitrage. Follow the opportunity that's got the biggest upside long term. And that forces you to learn higher value skills that compound over time. If you're smart enough to make online arbitrage work, then you're honestly more than smart enough to make other business models work as well. So don't waste years of your life on a low opportunity business model like online arbitrage. All right, that's it. That's enough for that one. Go and watch this video now where I teach you how to do product research for private label.